terrorist financing red flags and suspicion. As we notice, terrorists still use legitimate activities to fund their operations, including using individuals, charities, corporations, and trusts. In this section, we will discuss the various methods business entities, not-for-profit organizations, and companies such as banks can employ on individuals, organizations, and or companies that are willing to trade or transfer funds with them to monitor their activities related to terrorist financing. The roles of legal enforcement and relevant stakeholders is to identify terrorist groups that pose as either charities, nonprofit organizations, trusts, or financial institutions. Terrorism financing red flags can be defined as potential red flags that could initiate suspicion or indicate that something may be unusual. In the absence of a reasonable explanation, Typical red flags originate from one or more factual behaviors, characteristics, patterns, and or contingent factors that recognize irregularities related to the transaction of funds or attempts to transfer funds. It is worth noting that a single indicator does not necessarily point to terrorist financing. However, observing such indicators should encourage legal enforcement to carry out an assessment of transactions to identify whether there are other additional terrorist financing indicators or further facts that one can use to build a case and establish practical grounds to make allegations of commission of terrorist financing offenses, which necessitates the submission of a suspicious transaction report. General Terrorist Financial Indicators Here are some examples of terrorist financing indicators law enforcement can use to conduct further assessment of any suspicious activity. To successfully detect and prevent terrorist financing, The first step entails identifying the person or entity in order to analyze and report the suspicious financial activity. As a business owner, nonprofit organization, or institution, you may detect those terrorist financing indicators with a client as you go about your daily business. Depending on your business, it is important to note that some of the listed terrorist financing indicators may not apply. Terrorist financing indicators associated with identifying the person or entity. The following are examples of terrorist financing indicators that you may detect when identifying persons or entities. An inability to correctly identify the client. The client either refuses to provide the necessary information or provides information that is vague or misleading. The client provides information that is either substantially incorrect, false, misleading, or conflicting. The identification document of the client cannot be authenticated. The client changes the transaction after they are asked to produce their identification documents. Multiple clients use common identifiers such as phone numbers and addresses on transactions that are not related. Difficulties verifying the information that the client has provided. The transactions involve individuals and entities that are linked to criminal activities, either by the media, intelligence agencies, and or law enforcement. Terrorist financing indicators related to client behavior. The information that a business, nonprofit organization, or company acquires through client behavior surrounding a transaction may lead them to conduct a further assessment on whether to report a suspicious financial activity. Here are some examples of terrorist financing indicators that are linked to client behavior. The client mentions either directly or indirectly their involvement in criminal activities. The client provides either misleading or false information. The client is reluctant to provide information when requested. The client displays nervous behavior. The client takes a defensive stance when he is asked for further information or when he receives further queries. The client doesn't provide sufficient explanation for the source of the money. The client avoids meeting with the employees of the reporting entity. The client makes a query of the possibility of not reporting the statements or tries to persuade the business entity not to file or maintain the required reports.
terrorist financing indicators related to individuals or entities' financial profile, having a clear understanding of the expected activity of either a person or entity allows you to properly assess their financial activity. The following are examples of terrorist financing indicators associated with the financial profile of the person or entity. The client seems to be living beyond their means. The transaction activity of the client is inconsistent based on either the client's unusual pattern, their financial standing, or the client's occupational information. For example, student, social assistance, unemployment, etc. The type and size of transactions are uncharacteristic of what you expect from the client. The client uses products, services, or monetary instruments that are atypical for such a client. The client has multiple foreign bank accounts. An abrupt change in the client's pattern of activity, financial profile, or transactions. Terrorist financing indicators based on uncharacteristic transactional activity. There are some transactions that are outside the normal conduct of everyday business. The following transactions are examples that may point out a suspicious transaction that would require further assessment. Complex transactions that don't match their stated purpose. The client presents either cash notes or financial instruments that are either wrapped, packed, or transported in an uncommon manner. The particular transaction is consistent to a publicly recognized criminal activity. The client transacts using odd smelling, extremely dirty, or musty bills. The transaction is channeled through a suspicious shell entity that lacks a logical or economic rationale to exist. Crowdfunding and terrorist financing. An emerging subject in terrorist financing today is the use of crowdfunding platforms as a funding channel for terrorist financing. Money laundering regulators around the globe are investigating how online crowdfunding channels are exploited to fund terrorism. Terrorist financing and instances involving high-risk travelers, in particular, frequently involve small sums of money. For example, the financial institutions, casinos, and money services businesses in Canada are required by law to report cross-border electronic transactions over $10,000 to the regulatory body. Suspicious activity associated with terrorist financing and money laundering via crowdfunding include Structured cash withdrawals from accounts that have received deposits from crowdfunding sites. Cash installments and checks deposited to personal accounts from unidentified persons and foreign entities. Nexus between hate-motivated crime and terrorist acts. Few indicators. Religiously motivated violent extremism or ideology-motivated violent extremism is on the rise globally. A recent London attack on a Muslim family is an example of how hate-motivated crime may be an outcome of a long-planned terrorist act. Indicators of hate crimes could be absence of expected personal transactions, such as normal debit and credit account activity and or paying bills, sudden cessation of personal activity, frequent electronic money transfers, followed by depletions of funds through transfers to third parties. Terrorist resourcing or terrorist financing. Terrorist resourcing and terrorist financing are similar. However, terrorist resourcing is a more comprehensive and holistic concept that covers legitimate and illegitimate activities and associated economies, such as money laundering and terrorist financial activity. The traditional money laundering does not capture investors, locations, or resources used for terrorist financing. The terrorist resourcing model consists of five stages. Acquisition and exchange of stolen, looted funds. Aggregation of resources. Movement of resources. Transmission to a terrorist organization, operational cell. Conversion of funds for end-use goods, such as ammunition, weapons, training, and transport to carry out terrorist acts. <laughs>